afternoon everybody. Uh, I've just finished the afternoon milking and with Joanna and we are on our way to pick up some orphan lambs. I uh, text my friend at lunch, uh, Richard Keys, just to see if he had anything, uh, any lambs to spare. What orphan lambs are, orphan lambs are anything that might have been rejected from the mothers. The mothers could have passed away and they've been left, left alone or it's anything with maybe the mothers had two, uh, three or four lambs and uh, she's just not been able to feed them all. So he, he texts me, he replied and he said he's got a few spare. So uh, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna get some lambs. So uh, we'll see what he's got. few clips Richard was nice enough to show us around his farm and what he does he lambs all his ewes outside he starts at first light and finishes at last light and obviously we came in the afternoon so what we're doing is the last evening checks we're checking for any lambs on their own any lambs that are struggling with the ewes and making sure that everything's okay the first lamb that we came to was actually getting uh, batted away from his mother and the mother wasn't letting it feed so what Richard did he just took it away uh, just so it we guaranteed that it would grow healthily and he took it in for himself. Uh, we can see here he just jumps off the quad make sure that these two lambs are on and she was feeding them well they had a belly full and they looked happy so he kept them and left them alone. What we had here is we had one of the lambs was just in the corner on its own and he noticed that something was up with his tail. What happened is a crow was pecking at its tail and getting it. So he's uh, taking it again in house and he's uh, taking it home. Here me and Richard was chatting about how the, well the user are lambing and he noticed something that I didn't even notice. But that's his job, you know, he does it every day uh, in, in and out. So here he just pulled the lamb out, he just got behind the fence and it was really nice the way that he encouraged the lambs to the ewe without being too loud and too Escapee! <laughs> <laughs> 
Right guys, the lambs are here. They've been fed, they've been bedded up, and they're causing mischief. Um, you can see we have three Suffolks, which are the black ones, and we have two Texels, which are these two. You can see that we have kept the lambs in the first week. We do that because then we can just make sure they're doing all right. It's a bit cold at night, so I'd like to get a little bit more flesh on the back before we let them out to grass. Um, this little lamb here is from one of our ewes. She had twins and she was just struggling to feed both of them. So what we did is we took the smaller one off and we decided to feed it in house. You would have seen that we fed this one with a little bit of different milk. That was because, um, because I don't know if she's had colostrum yet. And we had a cow that calved yesterday morning. So I took half a litre of uh, colostrum off that cow to make sure that this lamb gets her uh, um, colostrum, which is full of antibodies, which gives her immune system just a bit of a kickstart and gets her fighting fit, really. Um, I'd like to thank Richard and Paul Keys for letting us have the lambs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends if you really liked it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.